Hey everyone, welcome to another K6 Office Hours. This is a really special one. I am Nicole van der Hooven. And I'm Sima. And today we have the previous CEO, I guess, but now we don't really <laughs> know of uh, Load Impact. Robin. <laughs> Thank you. Are you still our boss? <laughs> I think I am, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I guess we have to be nice to him. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who are Welcome. you? Who are you now? <laughs> uh, I'm still the same person, I hope. Uh, and um, yeah, I still, I mean, we still retain, retain sort of the company. Uh, so I have the same position. We all have the same position still. It's just that instead of, instead of having our old board and owners, we have a uh, new board and new owners in, in Grafana Labs. So that's that's the change. All right, so let's back up yeah. a bit, because we, we <laughs> kind of dove straight to the point. So <laughs> we have a big announcement for today, <laughs> which we also uh, announced at Grafana Conline yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, would you... Do us the honor of telling us what that change is and telling all the viewers what change that is, Robin. Absolutely. Yeah. So the change is that we got acquired by Grafana Labs. So that's uh, super exciting, of course, for, for all of us at K6. And it's it's super exciting for Grafana Labs as well, I I, I would say. And uh, it's it's been a, a an interesting, long journey to get to this point. But uh, through through all of the discussions we've had with the Grafana side, it's been very clear that we share a lot of things in in multiple regards when it comes to culture, our view of sort of the the future product strategy and things. So it it made a lot of sense, and we have a we have a shared sort of uh, DNA of of open source and community. So it it feels feels very very good to take this next step with uh, K6 and all of you. So maybe we should talk about uh, what Grafana Labs even is and, and their product lineup, because they actually have a few, a few tools in their tool belt now. They have a, a few tools and a whole bunch of open source projects as well, I would say. So yeah, I mean, the, the, the main, the main uh, products uh, or the main products, yeah, the main products that they sell is an observability platform. Right, so they have they have um, Grafana, who's the sort of dashboarding visualization solution, and then they have products for logs, traces, and metric storage, and then they have a whole host of open source projects around this observability stack as well. So they have Cortex for um, um, sort of hosting, hosting, storing, querying. Uh, metrics uh, in uh, using the Prometheus format, but it's sort of scalable and multi-tenant and a whole bunch of other nice features uh, like that. So, uh, so they, they 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 develop products basically similar to us, right? They have open source versions and then they have commercial versions, both cloud as well as on-prem enterprise offerings. So the way that I I had heard of them because I've used some Grafana products as a load tester. So when people, um, sometimes I think the news has come as a bit of a, a surprise to some people, but I think when you told me, when you told me that we'd been acquired, I was like, mm -hmm. oh no. And then you said <laughs> it's by Grafana. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's actually a good thing. Because I think it's a great sign that as a load tester, I already used Grafana naturally mm -hmm. without before I had even heard of K6, I was already using Grafana. Um, and I think when you were talking to me about some of the synergies that we already have, I, I think it made more and more sense because I think we already use a lot of Grafana products as well internally, don't we? Yeah, we do. <clears throat> so, so we both have, I mean, we both have integrations in with, with various Grafana technologies, but we also use, yes, we use Grafana products internally ourselves. So we use use uh, Loki, for example, their logging, logging project or product uh, for storing the logs that we collect as part of load tests. Um, uh, and, and we have built sort of uh, plugins for Grafana so, so our customers can access their test results in our cloud service through the Grafana dashboarding solution. So, so, um, 
yeah, we we've, we've um, I mean, I think the the good thing here is that both of our products are sort of built as as these composable tools, right? So they work quite well with with various other tools and vendors in the ecosystem. And that's one of the things I strongly like about Grafana that they are not not only limiting themselves to their own uh, own tools and and their own products. They they work well with even their competitors' products, and I think that's very uh, noble and um, and uh, say dar daring thing to do. Not many not many companies do that, right? It's it's very yeah. much like us versus them, and and uh, I like this sort of big tent philosophy that I that they talk about a lot. It's almost like our J meter to K six converter, but both ways <laughs> rather than just. Two. One way, two yeah, Grafana. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it would be very difficult to convert the JavaScript code, as you know, to <laughs> the equivalent. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's like two ways. Yeah. And for, for those who've been uh, using K6 for a while, you've probably noticed years ago that we actually have a Docker Compose file for setting up a whole stack with Grafana included, uh, right in the root of the K6 repo. So we've definitely been fans for for a long time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we've been pushing that as the alternative uh, starting point for a lot of people. Even when we do product demonstrations with, with people, we, you know, uh, uh, and they ask us about the open source and, and how it can be used with Grafana. So, uh, you know, we, we, we tell them that uh, you can always start and, and try and see how far you can get with the open source stack. But we we do believe that you will you will realize that there is uh, you know savings to be had both in, in time and cost using our cloud offering. Uh, but it's up to up to people to decide, right? Some people want to roll their own and want to manage their own stuff, or they have a necessity to do so because of security uh, you know restrictions etc. Et and, and others they see the, the the value, time savings, and and uh, you know headaches saved by using a cloud service. So I, I, I like that there's there's options and and. Um, people can decide what they feel is the right thing at the moment, and then they can switch in the future. And one thing that we've actually talked quite little about, I think we've been, we've not been that vocal about it, is that you can actually use K6 Cloud just to you know, uh, alleviate yourself from having to spin up your own infrastructure to do the tests, and then use the mm -hmm. uh, Prometheus integration that we provide as part of K6 Cloud to mm -hmm. send your data to Grafana Cloud. So if you'd rather uh, massage or visualize your data yourself, you're, you're, you're able to do that already. So there are, are already a lot of cool integrations or synergies in place that you could actually leverage. Yeah, exactly. And it makes the, also makes the migration, if you want to move from, from an open source tag to using the cloud service, makes that less painful, right? Because mm -hmm. as you said, when you have the open source tag, you might use, for example, InfluxDB as the storage layer. So you store your metrics in InfluxDB and you use Grafana to visualize them. And uh, you, can, you can then switch to using Cases Cloud as the, the storage layer and, and use the sort of collaboration features that we have in the cloud service. But still, yeah, send the metrics via the Prometheus Remote Writes um, integration to Grafana Cloud or some other provider as well, right? And, and continue doing work there. So you can still still get sort of use K6 open source or K6 CLI, visualize things in Grafana, but you can just switch out the sort of storage solution for the metrics. So Robin, there's we, we got a question from Naveen Kumar here. I also mm -hmm. want to know the answer to this. Who mm -hmm. initiated it first? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I mean, there is. Who made there was the no... first move? <laughs> yeah, so I would say I would say like this. I mean, we've had we've had several interactions over over the years, right? So uh, we had some Grafana folks over over for Fika in our office because our offices here in Stockholm are pretty close because they had been using using K6, right? And and uh, if you looked at at, at Raj's. A business update presentation at Grafana Online yesterday. He showed that tweet from uh, uh, Marcus, uh, who was one of the people that came to our office. So, so in in one sense, you could say maybe the relationship started at that point. Uh, but but this this larger discussion basically started uh, almost a, a year ago, uh, when when uh, and it was not. I mean, the discussion didn't start because we were you know saying we should we should uh, join forces, but it was just a. Uh, you know what can we do together? We seem to be crossing paths a lot. What can we mm -hmm. do together, basically? 
I just want to po point out that we have 18 concurrent viewers at this point, and that's probably the most we've had <laughs> for these office hours. <laughs> so it seems like a lot of people are excited and want to share the <laughs> celebration with us. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think there are a lot of questions um, on people's minds as well. Uh, we already, what made you think initially that Grafana would be a good fit? So we've already talked about the synergy between the products. Load testing creates a lot of data, and mm. Grafana is excellent at analyzing that data. Mm -hmm. um, then we also talked about the the fact that we are already using each other's tools because we've been using Grafana products, but I think they're also using K6, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grafana's been using K6 internally, uh, as, as is evident by Mar Marcus's tweet from, from yeah. over two, two years ago. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, I, so I, I think, I think the, the product front is definitely very interesting. I mean, Grafana, the Grafana is, is in the observability space, right? They have this observability platform. So they are very good. They're very good at helping their customers and users. Uh, you know, getting getting better observability, so getting a better understanding for what's happening in production environments, typically, so that you can you know uh, react to things that happen in in those environments so quickly remediate problems. Whereas we are sort of earlier, right, in the software development life cycle, we do testing, so we try to help people prevent those issues even ending up in production. So I would say you know we our our products sit close to each other but next to each other so they're they're complementary so so it, it's a very interesting i think opportunity here to cover a larger larger part of the entire uh, soft, software development life cycle uh, where where there's clear sort of shared opportunities in terms of you know metrics and visualization of metrics uh, i'm also very excited about sort of everything around SLIs, SLOs, error budgets, and that kind of thing. So I think that because I think that's something that spans also the entire software development lifecycle. And it's something that sort of binds the technical side of an organization together with the business side. So so that's a very interesting, I think, topic as well. But maybe that's a separate, separate office hours. Yeah, we could definitely have another office hours to just talk about SLIs, SLOs, and error budgets. Uh, there seems to be some kind of uh increasing uh, uh, traction for for those kind of questions as well uh, yeah. as evident by slo conf that we attended not not too long ago to speak about how to get started with that and how you could express that in a load test uh, yeah and so definitely like to have you on at some other point to discuss that more in detail very cool I also yeah. wanted to share this <laughs> because I think it's it's very love story how it started. Well, it's not really how it started, as you said, but I just wanted to point out this was a tweet in 2019, mm. um, way before any real acquisition talks, I, I imagine, because um, I don't think they've lasted that long. But there was a lot of love between Grafana and K K6, and there has been since the beginning, as I understand it. And fast forward to two years later, and we're in the same family now. Yeah, just shows like how this this was this is like the quintessential how I met your mother thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 funny because uh, yeah, I mean we've had several several different interactions over the years, and I know I mean I know several people in in the Casex team know people at Grafana since since a long time ago. We have Danielle, who's a maintainer of Grafana Temple, also on on the team. So there's been lots of sort of you know uh, shared shared. Uh, uh, you know, uh, bonds, I guess, between people and, and the companies. Uh, so, so it was sort of grew, grew naturally from that, I would say. And I think also Loki is actually using K6 to stress test log writing or something like that. Uh, I, I think Daniel had a, had some kind of uh, involvement in that too. But the, I, I have some vague recollection of Loki using K6 to, to stress test there. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, I think Loki or maybe maybe Tempo as well for testing. Yeah, it could could have been Tempo. I, I don't remember clearly. Number of traces they could ingest him. Yeah. So here's a question from Floor. How did you celebrate, mm -hmm. Robin? <laughs> Where did you watch the announcement? And with whom? Oh, the announcement. <laughs> that was mine, that last one. 
Yeah, so so uh, we had a we had a very small uh, gathering of six or seven people yesterday in our Stockholm office. So so um, one of the board members and and major shareholders and some of the the other shareholders as well. Um, unfortunately, you know, not everyone could be here for various reasons and also because of, of COVID, etc. But we were a small small group of people. Uh, and we we watched the the announcement together, and also heard a very nice speech by the founders' uh, mothers. That was very very sweet and very endearing. Yeah, yeah we've all been suffering from uh, uh, cuteness overload today after watching <laughs> that, that speech. I think. <laughs> yeah, for for us, a, a bunch of us on on the K6 team, uh, not everybody. It was already it was pretty late in in Europe, but some of us got together and watched it live as well. We all, we had everybody muted, and we were just like listening and waiting for Raj to to say K6. It was kind of cool to celebrate together. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost burned my uh, oven roasted aubergine yeah. that I, <laughs> I had <laughs> going during the announcement because I got so psyched and and <laughs> got stuck at the computer talking to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Another question: When can we have Grafanistas join the office hours? I mean, I I think we already asked Raj, the Grafana CEO, if he would join, and he said yes. So we definitely want to get him in. Um, and we're just figuring out exactly what will fit with with his schedule. But yeah, we'd love to have him on. But really, anybody from Grafana, I mean, re oops, reach out if if you want to join. Mm -hmm. You're we're all in one family now, so everybody's welcome. The pool became larger, right? <laughs> 350. I know that's the, the great thing. <laughs> There's like 400 new people who can go into <laughs> office hours. That is great. <laughs> yeah, or as, as Samuel expressed it, uh, 400 new people that can join our board game nights. I, I wonder how the servers <laughs> will manage that. Maybe we need to use K6 to t stress test our board game servers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So a comment from James Leatherman, he says that he started with K6 Docker Compose that packaged Grafana. Um, he's looking forward to new developments, features, and integrations. Are there any that you can think of or, or that you might want to share? Might be too early yet, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit too early to, to uh, um, talk about any, any new things. I mean, we already have, as we've mentioned uh, some existing integrations right so we, we export metrics already from the cloud service to prometheus remote right we we have a grafana data source plugin for visualizing test results from the cloud service but uh, there's definitely interesting things that uh, you know we've we've always intended to do when it comes to uh, for example uh, result analysis and and now being part of grafana labs they having lots of server side metrics that's that's super interesting i think we also yeah. have uh, XK6 distributed tracing for sending uh, sending traces to uh, yes. to Tempo. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's 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 one one very interesting uh, area that that we'll have to, of course, explore over time. What can be done? Uh, but but just having, I mean, we we collect metrics, you know, from the client side perspective, and we can say things like, oh, the system looks overloaded. There is some queuing behavior here, and the response times are shooting up. But but getting access to the server side information, you can go deeper in, in in what kinds of analysis you can do. So so I think that's that's very interesting. So we got a uh, comment from Jose <laughs> that says that we'll have a long queue of people to fit into office hours in really short time. <laughs> so uh, I think Jose, <laughs> we're gonna hold you to that, right? So <laughs> oh yeah, he's booked. He's saying that because just thirty minutes ago I was talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> about coming on to office hours too. He's not with K6 or Grafana, but um, he he is doing really awesome things with K6. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Ivan has a question as well. Will this change allow K6 to extend features and cover other kind of testing, like functional testing of services, integration testing, etc.? Uh, if it will, no. I mean, our our intention has has always been to look into other types of of testing. K six lends itself quite naturally to other kinds of testing as well. Even though we focus and 
and sort of position k6 as a load testing tool you, you can do other kinds of testing so uh, i know ivan has has uh, done a whole host of very cool plugins one of them being for example a mocking plugin so that's something that we are uh, interested in uh, you know uh, taking taking further seeing what we can do in terms of mocking and integration testing contract validation and things like that yeah Another cool thing that Ivan actually invented uh, that I don't think he had live when he was on the show what is the uh, bundled uh, Prometheus server, uh, which, mm -hmm. uh, according to Ned, kind of resembles what our UI used to look at, like in very early versions of K6. Wow. So uh, full circle in, in that regard. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a bundled front end. Yeah, we did. <laughs> way ago, I, I, <laughs> way, way back. Yeah. I do think, though, that the that Grafana will help us with integration testing, too, because um, with with integration testing in particular, you would have a bunch of different application components, and you're trying to see whether they talk to each other and whether those that communication between them is as expected. And so, if you were going to test something like that with K6, right now, like Robin said, it's all client side, so you don't actually have you have to figure out your own way to um, to to see into that black box. But with Grafana now, if you if you have um, if you are already using Grafana as an observability platform, ideally it should it should cross over and it should be way easier to be able to uh, monitor all those components. And you shouldn't have to. I mean, maybe I I don't know. I'm just saying my wish list here. But maybe you don't <laughs> even have to leave K six to to see that stuff. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I mean, we we will see what we what we um, can can come up with together, right, between Grafana and and the K6 team. But the, there's definitely lots of opportunities for for um, creating creating good good experiences for our our customers and users. Yeah, I would say so, even that we have a quite unique opportunity here because. In, uh, one of the shortcomings of all load testing or performance testing tools that at least I know of, including K6 to some extent, is the fact that it is black box testing, just as Nicole says. So to really unlock the value, you need that observability part as well, which hopefully yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Grafana will allow us to, 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 to unlock in a really nice and smooth fashion. And I, I think maybe we should also talk about what this means for K6 in the short term. So what is changing? I know, Robin, you mentioned that you're going to be moving offices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, yes, yeah, so that's a small, small, I guess, change, but uh, it's not not that big. It's, it's just new office space. But uh, yeah, I mean, short, short term in terms of the company or for our customers, not, nothing will change, right? So we will still have, we'll still be our own uh, legal entity here in here in Sweden. We just have a new parent company, uh, and there's there's not any major change to the product or or pricing or anything like that. So so everything will continue to operate as as it is, and and for the foreseeable future. And then once once we figure out exactly what we want to do and how we want to integrate things, uh, you know, we will talk about that and and uh, announce things. But. Oh, James is so great because he, he asked this question, so I don't have to. <laughs> Any news on the front end <laughs> performance capabilities in K6? Well, you see, James, we have also on the K6 team have not too long ago found out about this. Um, and when I found out, I was like, Robin, this is why you haven't done front end <laughs> performance testing. All that time you said you were working on it, but really. You had a secret. <laughs> yeah, I actually was working on it, but just very slowly. So yeah, it's, <laughs> so so it's still still something we we want to do. It's it it is a missing capability of of the tool, both from a load testing perspective. But there's also so many other things. I mean, browser browser automation is is uh, sort of a, a feature or functionality that you can use for so many other applications than just uh, load testing. So it's it's definitely something we intend to complete. 
Naveen Kumar wants to know about changes in the branding guidelines of K6, like logo, app UI, email IDs, GitHub repos. Uh, no, so I mean, we're not going to change any any branding immediately. Uh, we might, you know, add information just for clarity's sake that we are a Grafana Labs company. Uh, email ID, so I'm not sure if that means our email addresses. I mean, we, we will retain our K6IO email addresses and our application will continue looking the same. We're not going to change the branding of the application. Uh, GitHub repos, yeah, we might, we, we will likely over time uh, switch over to whatever Grafana Labs, GitHub org is called, I guess Grafana Labs or just Grafana. But uh, yeah, those are small changes. So the, I mean, the whole, the whole point here is not to make too many large disruptive changes for, for anyone involved here. And so um, will there, well, at least there are no planned changes in price or plans, right? Or the features included in plans? No, not at this moment. I mean, we, we've we always, whether we would have been part of Grafana Labs or not, we review pricing, uh, you know, several times a year to, to make sure we're sort of in line with, with the, uh, the market and uh, yeah, all, all the parameters that, that goes into pricing. But no, there's no, there's no immediate, you know, we got the choirs. So we're, you know, changing prices to this. No, it's <laughs> nothing like that. Celebrating by Ten raising times. all prices ten uh, percent across the board. Yay! <laughs> no. <laughs> with us. Oh no! Someone's going to clip just that part of this video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no changes that we know of yet. <laughs> um, will K six OSS remain open source? Yeah, I mean that's. I mean, open source is is a big part of the Grafana. Uh, DNA as well. You know they've been doing open source for longer than we have, so uh, so uh, yeah, it will continue to be open source. Uh, what about people? Grafana has over four hundred people. I think we have like thirty. How how do you think the team's been taking it so far? Uh, I, I would say mostly mostly well. There's of course been been some some. Uh, you know, cautious optimism, right? And uh, some some uh, wonderings about what what this change means, right? Because whenever you have a, a change, especially a pretty big one like this, there's there's natural naturally, um, you know, in the beginning, before you have all of the information, I feel that you comfortably have all of the information of what it would mean. You, there's there's some some chaos, right? So, so that's understandable, and I know several of our team members have gone through acquisitions before. Uh, I haven't, so this is my first one. So, so I'm probably going to learn. I have learned already, and will probably learn a lot by going through this. But those who have gone through it before, they have also very various experiences, right? So, um, so, so based on what you what kind of experience you had, you you're probably going to be either cautious or super optimistic, I guess. Um, <laughs> and then also, of course, you also look at who the acquirer is and, and sort of like, do you think the acquirer aligns with your personal values and, and principles and things like that? And hopefully in this case, uh, I mean, one of the reasons why we, we uh, thought on both sides this was a good idea is because we have very similar organizational values and, and beliefs. And, and I think that's uh, personally, I think that's sort of fundamental if you want an acquisition to, to you know, even have a chance of succeeding. Uh, if you have two different cultures or values, uh, you're sort of, uh, it, it's going to be dead from the start. Yeah, I think, I think there's definitely a lot that's still uncertain. We don't really know how the product roadmap is going to change. Uh, I think almost everybody recognizes that these two products would work really well together. Um, and I think it's more about just getting to know Grafana because we haven't really, we haven't been a part of Grafana for very long yet. So there's going to be a period where we get to know each other and, and find out what they're about and introduce them to the color purple <laughs> instead of just red and orange. <laughs> Or orange and yellow, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Prob uh, Mustafa is sharing one of his reactions, and I remember when we <laughs> when we were told the news, his <laughs> immediate reaction was, "Yes, our licenses are compatible." <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. That was his first reaction. <laughs> was that a consideration, Robin? 
<laughs> no, no, that was never, never, <laughs> never part of the discussion. No, I mean we've been AGPL from the from the start, and and Grafana switched pretty pretty recently. But no, that was never, never a part of this discussion. Did they did they switch because of us or? No, no. No. Okay, it was also a separate <laughs> thing. Yeah, that yeah, that was a separate separate decision uh, by by the Grafana side. Yeah. How do you personally feel about the news? Because you also don't know exactly how your role is changing, right? Yeah. No. I mean, no. Naturally, um, I I don't know all the, all of the details, and I. I still can't predict the future, so and so I I, I don't know Why exactly not? what, what <laughs> I know. It's like trying to be develop develop that capability for years, but never <laughs> seems to, never seems to materialize. Uh, yeah, so so I mean, there's there's of course things that um, that I don't know, and um, uh, you know, time will just tell how how everything will sort of fall into place. But I think for for me, the the comfort uh, comforting thing is is the people I've talked to so far through this this. Process right, uh, and the 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 process didn't even start with you know, you know Grafana should acquire us. Uh, it was just a discussion that that turned into sort of an acquisition discussion. So uh, I felt that the the people on the Grafana side, from sort of Raj and and down, have been very, very um, you know down down to earth, very transparent from the start. They've been very open and shared their intentions and and plans and things like that. And for me, for me, you 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 get you know quite quickly a feeling about people if if they are trustworthy or or not. Yeah. And I felt through this whole journey that uh, they've sort of kept kept their their words and. They've, uh, you know, always been transparent with their intentions and uh, have been open also with that. Not everything needs to be set and fixed and decided before hand, right? Which I I think is a very good stance. Mm -hmm. That that some things you will have to sort of iterate on and figure out as you go. And and I think that's a much better approach than trying to do, you know, like. Um, Oh, now we need to merge and integrate everything, and you know you you forget that you actually have stuff to do. <laughs> so, so, so I, I'm I'm quite comfortable with sort of the unknowns that exist, because I feel comfortable in in uh, the the people that um, that acquired us. Are you sticking around for the foreseeable future of K6? Me? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is, I mean, this is um, just checking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's sort of a, it's an end, right? It's an end to to a, to an era in one way, but it's also a new beginning and a very exciting beginning because we'll we'll have a completely different different um, uh, opportunity to do do things that we haven't been able to do before. So, so I, I, you know, I'm I'm a product person first and foremost. I like, you know. Talking about product, I like uh, thinking about product and and how how you know we can improve experiences for for people. Uh, in our case, in in the testing world, so uh, this this acquisition and the the uh, possibilities are very exciting. I think. So, Robin, maybe this is something we need to apply to be to be able to foresee the future. Maybe observability <laughs> will help us with that. Um, <laughs> Daniel, you'll have to schedule a demo for next week and show us how we can use it to 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 predict the future. Uh, what does the okay observability? I didn't see the entire quote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uncover the unknown unknowns. <laughs> yes. So I, I also... one thing that I'm wondering, Robin, mm -hmm. what will you be doing this weekend after after all of this? <laughs> you know, these hectic weeks and. Uh, being on all this meeting, signing all the papers, making this deal happen. What will your weekend look like? Uh, my weekends are typically quite similar. So I have two kids, right? Uh, <laughs> seven, seven, ten, ten years old. So uh, we uh, we typically, I mean, I typically spend a lot of time uh, on the weekends with with them and my my wife. And this weekend we are actually, yeah, we rented a, an Airbnb place a little bit north of Stockholm wow. just to get away from Stockholm a bit. So that's where we're going. Nice. So are you are you getting uh, pizza takeout and then 
<laughs> celebrating with Melody Festivalen or whatever might be on TV. I don't, I don't follow these things, so I have no clue. Or, uh, <laughs> no, probably they they uh, we bought like uh, water guns and stuff. So it's more gonna be stuff like that, like uh, eating water right. guns, playing some football maybe, and cooking food. Sounds like a good way to celebrate uh, such a mom uh, moment momentous. Is that is that even the right word? Momentous uh, yeah. event. Yeah. It's uh yeah it, it's it's um uh, it's Monumental. sort of been a uh, yeah I guess for me it's been more of a sort of a drawn out celebration right because I've I've been part of the entire uh, entire journey so there's been many mm. many steps of celebration throughout the journey and uh, and yesterday it gets culminating yesterday with the sort of a public announcement uh, so so it's 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 more nice to just like get some time away from <laughs> from celebrations and stuff and just do normal things. How, how tired uh, are you today now that everything has sort of, you know, uh, is, is out of the system? I don't know. I think this is one of the things where you need to sort of take time off to maybe realize that you're tired because I don't I don't really feel super, super tired. It's been and, and that might be because it's 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 been very you know ex exciting and a lot of new people to meet and talk to and, and you're trying to you know make sense of everything and and uh you know seeing what what steps you need to take next etc so i think this is i think uh yeah with with big events changes like this it takes time to realize what's what's actually happened <laughs> so so i think sometime maybe after the summer i'll, I'll realize what happened <laughs> in one of my previous lives i i used to work with uh, kids um, yeah. in some kind of uh, kindergarten and uh, one thing that always happened when it was time for vacations was that once the vacation starts, you spend the first one or two weeks with a high fever and all sorts of diseases yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. You, that you've kind of amassed during the, <laughs> yeah. the previous you year. You queue them up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it will be like that then. Hope not. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I'll be sick the entire summer. Yeah. No, we'll see. So Robert, we were called PHP when, the whole summer. <laughs> <laughs> Go PHP, yeah. When did the um, negotiations or discussions begin? Are you able to share that? Uh, it's been going on for for a couple of a uh, number of months, basically. Uh, I guess I can share that much. Okay, uh, and do you do you think that? Uh, was there a lot to to discuss, or or was it mainly just ironing out the details? Uh, no, I mean it wasn't wasn't that much. I would say to discuss. Yeah, there was there was details around things uh, because you know they they're an American company, uh, mm. you know, acquiring a Swedish company and, and figuring out everything in between there, just from a legal taxations perspective and and uh, you know all the paperwork needs to be processed and and signed and you know we have lots of shareholders uh, or lots we have a number of shareholders and they are in different places around the world uh, these days since the company is pretty old and uh, yeah so not nothing too difficult it just like takes time yeah I I think um, there are some some news reports about uh, about Grafana acquiring a startup um i i i think it it's funny because we're not actually a startup <laughs> yeah we're uh, actually I sat down and thought quite about old that yesterday <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i think we're actually twice as twice as old as they are in terms of how long we've operated as a business yeah yeah yep. uh, yeah i mean we're we're definitely much older in terms of how long the legal entity has been around <laughs> for sure so yeah, this is. I mean, this all depends on how you define a define a, a startup, right? Uh, I would say we we typically refer to ourselves more of a more of as a, as a small business uh, rather than startup startup in the in the American or Silicon Valley sense, at least. Whereas Grafana probably is more of a startup, right? They started whatever it is now five years ago and have had a very explosive trajectory, maybe yeah. you know, almost from the start. In in the same at the same time, I mean. Given that they don't have any spectac spectacular plans for the old MMORPG that were the original <laughs> product of, of the company, uh, you could say that K6 as a product or as a 
company brand that's kind of a startup right that's not yeah. been that long yeah yeah exactly so i mean there's there's um it all depends on how you slice it right so you, yeah. you could you could slice it and slice away that part of the company's history and say yes k6 is a startup because the k6 journey started three three and a half years 2017, ago 2017 was it yeah yeah exactly 20 yeah so it's four years ago now so so you can yeah. say that k6 as as um uh, product and the organization around K6 is also very different from what it was previously, right? So that that you could say is a startup. But, uh, the company as a company, a legal entity, has been around for a long time. But I sure hope that uh, that Raj has some really interesting plans on what to do with that old for world leader. RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that <laughs> IP, that IP that. is valuable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure we've even uh, told them that IP exists. <laughs> 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 we first need to get a computer that even is able to run it uh, these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Question from James. Do you have any immediate plans to scale now that K6 is going to be more in demand with this new exposure? I mean, we, we have the entire Grafana organization to, to lean on, right? So they have they have come much further, obviously, in, in building, building out their organizations. We have a lot of a lot of parts of, of the Grafana organization to rely on uh, when it comes to all aspects of <clears throat> of growing growing teams and marketing, selling selling products, building product, etc. Uh, and and we are we are also discussing and uh, iterating on, on what the plans will be for for K six specifically. But but we haven't uh, arrived at something, so I, I can't share anything right now. And I think that it's also it's 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 definitely also um, shared finances and that, but also things like just the people who are going to be recruiting. We don't have recruiters in K six, <laughs> so that's that's definitely a huge deal for us just to have that support. People who are mm -hmm. actually trained in this, <laughs> that's that's going to be a, a huge help. I'm looking forward to having more people on the team. And with that said, we still have job <laughs> openings on the K6IO webpage. Uh, as uh, people might, assume, uh, might might figure out, it might be a little bit different now or a little bit. We'll see exactly how that goes. But I still encourage you to, if you're interested in any of the listed positions, go ahead and, and put in your resume because we are still actively looking for these roles, even though we don't know exactly how we might scale up or scale out. Uh, or even if we are going to do that going forward. But go into K6IO slash jobs and have a look at the job descriptions because we definitely still are looking to fill those roles. Very much so. So uh, my question is about another question that I have anyway, is what was the state of K6 before you made the decision to to be acquired? Were we already uh, just, I mean, tell me if you can't, share um, but were you already looking to be acquired and what were the reasons for for that yeah uh, no so no we, we were not in a position where we were sort of actively looking to be acquired no uh, rather rather the opposite i would say yeah, we were looking for how we could grow the company um, both mm -hmm. sort of organically by ourselves through through selling products and and um, earning revenue, but also through you know potentially uh, additional financing, and and you know because how things turn out sometimes right we we um, continued discussing things with with Grafana as well and and this this uh, was the sort of best path the path forward we decided what are your views on that both of you i think because my, my personal view is that this is a lot a, a lot more interesting as a as a concept than having a cash injection in many ways because we know that they that they understand our business and that they are in a similar business uh, which might not always be the case if you get an investor or something like that they might be totally new to to te technology or uh, have some kind of short-term effect they want to get out of the company, but we don't need to. Th that's not the case when we get acquired by a a company doing the same thing and wanting to, you know, expand their product portfolio. 
Yeah, I mean, I, th I think the sort of the expectations, I, I would say, are probably similar, right? Like, uh, and whether you get an investment from from an investor, a VC, or or you get acquired, there's there's of course going to be some expectations that this, you know, investment or acquisition is a, a good thing, something that contributes to the the growth of you know the 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 fund that invests in you or the company that acquired you. So I think it's pretty similar, and and I think the important thing is to to find, I mean, it's, it's a relationship, right? So you need to find a, a counterparty that that you agree with and where your values are aligned and you see things the same way. I mean, in most cases, of course, there's gonna be differences, but in most most cases, right? So I, I, that that's how I viewed it. And I think for us, this was the best best uh, next next step, basically. So Def definitely. And I mean, it, it totally makes sense given that they have such a, or that we nowadays, but that Grafana has such a pro proven track record <laughs> with the similar products. So uh, I, I would say that this is very exciting, at least to me, to see what we. Yeah, doing. exactly. And I think that the, the the really positive thing and exciting thing with being acquired rather than than taking financing is that, as you said, we we become part of an organization that already you know does exactly what we do, basically build yeah. open source based open products. So we have a lot of, you know, uh, similarities, and we can can learn a lot uh, from each other, uh, and it's a sort of different different dynamic in a way from having having an investor. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's it's very very exciting that we can have sort of like real operational product discussions, right? Uh, rather than just having sort of more maybe financial kinds of discussions. Yeah, I might have been unclear, but that that was exactly what I was meaning as yeah. well. I I think it's really ex exciting from that point yeah. of view. I, I also think that personally, I'm more excited about being acquired than about just having an investor because investors don't always have the industry experience or exposure. They might give the money, but they might not know anything about our business. Grafana is already in this industry. So they, although they're not in load testing, they are in observability and they're adjacent spaces. So they also know what it's like to, to have been a startup, to, to work bottom up. So mm -hmm. I would rather work with people like that than, than investors. Not saying that it's not possible to have great investors, but uh, just from an employee's perspective, I think that there's a lot more uh, safety and security because they're going through the same thing that we are. Mm. So there's a lot more shared experience there. I also think that when we've previously, you and I talked about um, observability, Robin, that I've always said, yes, I, I love the idea of it, of K6 having better observability. I'm not sure that we should really start our own thing. Do you remember <laughs> me saying that? <laughs> You yeah, were probably yeah. smiling, thinking, just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I said, um, I, I think there are already observability platforms out there, yeah. and we're starting from zero. Why would we even try? Well, this yeah. is a way for us to, like, it's a shortcut, basically, mm -hmm. because they've already figured all that stuff out. We mm -hmm. don't have to. And mm -hmm. it, it's just going to be a win-win for, for both of us from that perspective. Yeah. Nicole, the optimist. Why would we even do that? There are already so many tools out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've gone. They they have a lot of experience in yeah. in getting observability right. I, I don't know. It's it, it's hard to think that we could, while maintaining the load testing side of things, also in parallel start up something completely new. It's just the reality is that it's going to be difficult and it'll need yeah. a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, for for sure. Uh, but I think I think the I think uh, I mean the reason why we we start even c contemplating that kind of thing is because it it makes so much sense for us to have access to the server side data again, right? As we talked about in the beginning. But also, I think the observability space has been moving more towards open standards. So it's it started to make make it possible for companies who are you know not not already super established in the observability space to at least do you know some aspects of it because if you have I mean if you have your metrics collection or trace collection or logs collection using using open standards 
and you can just fork that data to different mm -hmm. you know providers you know we could we, we could have done something just for our purposes with that that data rather than rather than being a sort of full-fledged observability uh, tool or platform or product so I think that's the that's the cool thing with open open technologies and, and composable products that you can uh, sort of mix and match uh, which which works best for you and it, it creates also a, a really good competitive landscape I think that's that's why I like Grafana so much as well because they have this open uh, composable strategy. One concern that I've seen shared on social media is what if you're using, for instance, K6 and not Grafana? What if you're using some other competing uh, observability platform? Is that mm. going to be a problem for those users? No, I mean, we have our existing integrations with the other observability providers as well. And uh, K6 has, you know, as you know, uh, lots of lots of capabilities of outputting to all kinds of uh, metric destinations and and nowadays also uh, I don't remember exactly which release we released this in but you can you can build uh, output extensions as well right to output to even more mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, destinations so um, similar to to what Grafana does as well right Grafana is, is similar in that kind of strategy they 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 have plugins for you know, working with the their com competitors effectively in the observability space. So we'll continue to work. Yeah, just I'm, I just went to the Grafana. Well, actually, maybe I'll just share um, because on their on their site, they already talk about them being being used with other providers. Mm -hmm. uh, So, like here, uh, it's, it, it, on the very first page, complete your observability picture. They have all these plugins, MongoDB, Datadog, Dynatrace, and more. So they're they're not people who are trying to restrict access to to products. They're people who who want their product to work with everything. And if that's with something else, if it makes it easier to integrate with um, another observability platform first, they think that the product should speak for itself, right? And and that's kind of how we think as well. That kind of rhymes quite well with the whole open source ethos as well, that we don't try to to compete by vendor lock-in, by compete by excellence, rather. Uh, I think it makes sense, and it's, it's uh, kind of what we're doing as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's 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 always feels nicer if you you know you won a user or a customer because they genuinely thought you had the best tool rather than uh, you know them buying you just because you locked them locked them in somehow hmm. is there anything that you'd specifically like to say to any users or and or customers of k6 who are just well, hearing that, about this acquisition? <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think uh, there's there's two important messages. One one is that nothing will immediately change, right? So we will continue developing K6, the open source project, as we have all along. So we're not going to make any changes there. And for customers, nothing is going to change in terms of uh, the, the the cloud product. So so we're not going to remove any any features. We're not going to change any any pricing. I mean, for now, right? No, so no immediate changes. Naturally, as we do every year, we're introducing new features and and we review pricing, but nothing nothing changes for now. And and the other thing is that uh, it's exciting times ahead, right? So so now we're going to have a completely different different opportunity to accelerate what we have always been on the path of of doing. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Anything you'd like to say to new Graphonistas? Well, I mean, they're not new Graphonistas, they're just newly our family. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to say thank you for them for, for welcoming us. Uh, I, I think we've, the all of the people we have met and interacted with have been very very friendly and, and very welcoming. So so that, that really warms my heart when, when you feel like uh, you're being sort of accepted and brought into the, the family, so to speak. So. Uh, thank you so much for for the warm warm welcome, and uh, the the K six team, the uh, exciting and energetic bunch that we are. We are super excited about meeting 
all of our new family members. And we look forward to, to working with you all to um, build, build um, new um, exciting products and, and uh, work with uh, each other's respective communities and customers. Definitely. And if you missed the announcement, there's a link to the press release in the chat. So you can have a look there and read about all the details from yesterday. Basically. But I think Robin has said, said more than what you'll be able to read in the press release. <laughs> <laughs> what about, um, is there anything to, to the K-16 that you'd like to say? Because there are a few of us here that you haven't already said, <laughs> at least. Yeah, I mean, I think I think uh, well. First of all, well done, and I think it's it's very well <laughs> <Yay>! well deserved, <laughs> well deserved sort of recognition for everyone. I mean, this is this is an achievement, right? That a company sees sees uh, you know your company as as valuable for acquiring. It's it's a uh, it's a proof that we have done stuff right uh, in in a sense, right? So so I think it's very well deserved for for um, everyone on the team. And uh, I think we should all be very proud of what we have achieved together, right? Because it, it's really been a, a big team effort over these last couple of years that we have all sort of worked together and built the existing team that we have. And um, I, think, I think we have just you know, a very exciting future ahead of us as well uh, as a team within Grafana and as part of the larger Grafana family. So we'll continue to uh, work together, have have happy times together, and build great products together. Virtual high fives all around! Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else that you wanted to add, Simon? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I, I think uh, this might be a good note to end on, actually, because uh, uh, it's been a hectic week, and I think we've been able to say everything that we wanted to say during this stream so thank you so much robin for for coming on the show and uh, seeing you all next week have Thanks a great so weekend everybody have a great weekend bye bye